What's up everyone? So we've got another Lightroom tutorial. We've got another from this Instagram feed. I'll be putting his links down in the description. So if you guys like his style, check him out down there. So when we look at his style, we can see there's a real flatness to the image. So it has a low amount of contrast, has a lot of warmth. And yeah, we are going to be working with this one right here. So he has sent this image in and we're going to be trying to recreate its exact edit. So let's get into Lightroom, see if we can create something like this. All right, let's get into recreating this one here. So going to chuck in a lot of warmth. We need to take out a lot of contrast. See how it has quite bright shadows and those whites in our one are just far too bright so we'll try that we'll just do it roughly for now and then we will add in some contrast with the curves and then we'll come up and refine a lot up here um so our whites are really bright in our image like down here and back there so we need to bring them down a lot if we want to get that detail back and we want to lift it up maybe um, let's bring down the whites we'll just try to get that detail back a bit so now we've got a much flatter looking image and we could even get a bit more detail out of those blacks so let's just chuck that up a bit now we're looking a little too flat but i'm gonna go in and do red green and blue channels now Okay, so that's the curves done, and that's just an S curve, and we're bumping up the midtones. So when you've got a real flat image like this, we want to just shift more colors into those midtones so we get, we otherwise those colors are just sort of lost in the fade and in the lack of contrast. So just bumping up each of the colors in the red, green, and blue channels in the midtones and that helps that pop so it's pretty much what's going on there and then there's a bit of contrast added and then in this one it's just a real simple fade throughout the image so you get that little bit of fade to those blacks all right so let's come back up here gonna actually add in more warmth Let's um, shadows can come up just a tad blacks maybe a bit more okay so this image I might drop the clarity because it's such such a nice soft looking image but then we sort of lose the edges of a lot of the subject I'm gonna dehaze a bit and then saturation down and then vibrance to get more of a pop so we'll add in a bit more saturation in that 
down here but we'll do the split toning first otherwise that will affect our colors we're trying to fine tune with the HSL so for split toning I think it's blue we want and shadows we want nice warm shadows you can see that in the darker areas about there now we should be able to do some HSL work so we'd have mainly going to be looking at the skin tones being most important maybe we'll start with the luminance so her skin just looks kind of bright if we drop the luminance and see it deepens the colors do that with the reds as well uh, we need to play with saturation Yellows, they're about good in the middle. No greens in here. Uh, and then all the other colors are pretty close. Just a bit of a teal effect, so shifting the blues towards more the teal and then upwards towards the blue purples not many pretty much none um, so the beach isn't quite bright enough and some people might think need to lift up the whites or the highlights to get the brighter beach but we'll do it by lifting the luminance and that way it will only affect that beach so I think that's the right way to do it tiny bit of greens back there Uh, our aquas bring them up a tad we'll bring these up just in case there was another an image that did have those colors would want them to bring them up with the blues and sharpening probably needs to come down we've got a nice soft looking image and we definitely need some grain so we'll put in Since we're quite close to our subject, we're only put a little bit in. And I think we're looking pretty good. Um, come up, double check some of this. Um, I think our oranges could be a bit more of a red so I think she looks a touch too yellow same with her hair
and I need to do the saturation so we'll pull down on these oranges uh, maybe a little of these yellows no greens but we'll take those down aquas tiny bit back there we'll take them down Blue's coming down. Just matching up the sky. And we'll take purples down. And magenta down just in case that was in the image. And I think we're looking pretty good. Might shift the oranges back a bit. And I'll just leave it there, guys. Looking pretty darn close. Pretty happy with that. Comment down below what you guys thought about this one. Let me know what you guys want to see. Like, who you guys want to see. Because if you comment them down below, I'll go reach out to them on Instagram and ask them to send in a photo. So I can do a tutorial and hopefully teach you guys. And yeah, keep sending me you guys' feedback on the presets and i know you guys want a lot like this so i'll be trying to find a lot like these these presets you guys seem to really enjoy so yeah check out the preset pack if you're liking these tutorials tons of awesome feedback loving hearing from you guys and how you're using those to uh, improve your instagram feeds so yeah thanks for watching guys leave a comment leave a like i'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.